Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. It is Easter, the gospel of Mark, the 16th chapter. The angel helps out the uh, burdened Peter. He says, go and tell the disciples and Peter that Jesus is going before you to Galilee. And there you will see him just as he told you. And it almost seems like an afterthought, but it's not. It's actually really oddly specific. Peter gets singled out again. Go and tell all of the disciples. Peter's a disciple. He's already one of them. Especially, don't forget to tell Peter. He's had a real, real rough week. He's going to need to hear it. Look at everything that's going on. He's arguing with John about who is the greatest at the very last supper where Jesus is trying to forgive his sins. He has broken his promises to Christ, falling asleep in the garden twice. He is shamed by um, attacking the guard who comes to arrest Jesus. He is outright denied his God three times and then wept. He literally had the week from hell. The week of separation from God, that's what makes hell, hell. It's its the worst, not the fire and the pitchforks and the, the devil in the satin jumpsuit. Peter feels utterly apart from God, who was taken from him, crucified and buried. And so, well, this is actually what Peter needs to hear then, that he who is crucified and buried is risen. The angel spoke and said, tell especially Peter, because his denial was the greatest and he knows it. So tell him that he cannot just run away from God and then figure out what to do next, but that grace will chase him down. He knows he ran away from God. He knows that he ran away from any sort of hope that he would had. He knows that he has broken his promises to Jesus over and over again. He knows all of the ways that he messed up. So what he needs to hear is not what he has done wrong, but what Jesus has done for him. Jesus, who bore the cross for him, is risen from the dead. So the angel spoke and said, make sure you tell Peter. He needs to hear that his sins are not too great to receive the benefits of the resurrection. He has not run too far that his Lord would not burst from the tomb to chase him down. He is going before him even unto Galilee. And so it is for you, so that you do not get lost in the crowd. You get a preacher who actually says the words for you, not just for Peter a long time ago, but also for you. Whatever you have done, Whatever promises you have broken, whatever things you have failed about, whatever sins you have committed, even if you have run away from God and you feel like you are in hell, Christ is risen for you. Your sins are not too great for the angel's words. He is still risen. Do not be afraid. Nothing that you can do can make that angel a liar. Christ is still risen from the grave, so don't be afraid. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.